Hello world, uh, my name is Daniel Rios. I am a youth pastor and I wanted to weigh in on the Coney 2012 campaign that's going on. Uh, first thing I want to say is as far as Invisible Children goes, I love their cause, I love what they're doing as far as helping children. I'm all about uh, defending the defenseless. In fact, 18 months ago when they ran the last campaign, I was actually had an action kit and did the whole deal so I support the cause of making sure that kids are defended. But I did want to address a couple of issues because I see so many people running off passionately about this thing. Um, first thing I want to say just about the tactics of it is using a word like arrest is awesome. But what will probably happen is assassination. Uh, you're talking about the Ugandan police or some other military occupancy going in and making this arrest. And if it was that easy as an arrest, he'd be arrested. If his name has already been on the top of the arrest list, he'd be arrested. You knowing his name and him being a war criminal kind of don't run together. What actually happens here, though, is when you go in to make the arrest, children with guns that believe in him or have been brainwashed by him are going to be there defending him. And so the same children we aim to, to go after to help are going to be victims and become a bloody and, and, and murdered in the attempt to do what we say we're trying to do, which is help them. They're going to end up being hurt. You see, the way I believe it is this, is there has to be awareness, there has to be things going on, but we have to do things the right way. Um, making Coney's name famous, I don't understand. I do understand awareness, but I've never seen where in the church or in, in anywhere else we've said, you know how we'll defeat the devil? We'll make his name as famous as we can so that you're aware that there's a devil and then you won't fall to his tricks. Let's make the devil's name famous. Well, what the Bible says we should do is lift Jesus up and he'll draw all men unto him. If young, passionate young people, young Christians who love God were as passionate as making Jesus' name famous, as they were about making Coney's name famous, then we would deal with so much more than just one issue. You know, if you got two billion people in the world that don't have clean drinking water, when there's plenty of water to go around, making Jesus famous will confront that. You have human trafficking, which is a huge deal all around the world. Even right here in Atlanta, so our backyard, uh, there's the Bangkok of the West. And, and it would deal with that issue because it would bring a greater awareness. The name of Jesus would empower and, make, and, and bring power in the community and love in the community and more compassion in the community and more desire to chase after God and see that thing going on. With, if 20,000 teens and Warner Robins came together to, to put up papers with a man's face, why don't we plaster the name of Jesus through the acts of love in the same way and have a prayer vigil and come together to pray for change? Because you know what God can do? He can stop that man's heart like this. Because the reality of it is without God, there's going to be a problem. There's going to be a power vacuum. When he's dead, there's going to be an army there wanting to be led. And, then, and you can remove Stan Tookie Williams, it didn't stop the Crips. And you can remove Hoover, and it didn't stop the folks. And you can remove Osama bin Laden, and there's still an Al-Qaeda. And the Taliban is still there after killing so many leaders. And there's just a power struggle. And it becomes an unorganized bloodbath. But what God can do is God can restore. And he can rebuild. And he can, and he can put things back together again in these people. See, the Bible tells us that there's no other name known among men by which men should be saved. By which men can be saved. And that if we lift him up, he draw all men unto him. That you know what? Joseph Coney, he may be a monster in action. But his soul is still important to God. The Bible says it's not God's will that anyone will be lost. And I can look at that man's actions and they are horrendous. But you know what? God can capture him in a moment, have him surrender his soul, and then God can take him out if he wants to. If this world will come together and have 70 million people pray as much as they're rallying to have this man, what, it, what would happen is, is murdered. You know, because if, if rest was that easy, it'd be done already. And instead of that, let's make Jesus' name famous. That's my plea. The reality of it is, you can kill the man, Joseph Coney, but the spirit that drives a man like that, that murders children, that spirit has to be dealt with in the spirit. Because you know what? 30,000 young people he's messed with in the last 25 years, they say, but babies die by the hundreds of thousands to abortion in America every day, every year. A million people in the world commit a suicide every year. A million in the world commit suicide. Children being raped sex trafficked, abandoned by fathers. The spirit that murders children is in our own backyard. Sometimes it's in our own household. It's in our own nation. It's in this entire world. And to attack that spirit, 
to attack the spirit that would have children abducted from parents, be it at gunpoint or be it through your music videos, that have children uh, uh, turn and, and, and run a life that is destructive, be it through gunpoint or be it through molestation or be it through abandonment or be it through anything else. The spirit that desires to murder children has to be dealt with with the name of Jesus and with the blood of Jesus. And so while we're making this man's name famous, how about we make Jesus' name famous? How about you make him famous in your community? How about you come together with other youth groups and bring other students together and rally a cause and call your senators to get prayer back in school, which stopped you know, which though that legislation started about 30 years ago. That spirit started attacking about 30 years ago, about the same length of Joseph Coney, you know, to get prayer back in schools, that we can mention Jesus in the schools and mention have prayer out there without getting litigation and anything like that. How about we start making a cause to make this world a better place, not for one issue, but for every issue by more compassion and more love and more power and more desire for God through worship and prayer and unity within the body by making the name of Jesus is famous. You know, that's one issue that needs to be dealt with. Where are where's our passion to make God famous instead of making the enemy famous? Think about that. And when you when you're doing your campaign and you bring people together and you're out in your cities and your plaster papers, make sure you take time when you got thousands sitting there to unite in prayer and pray that God do something great, that he be the head because once this man is gone, what's your cause then? Once this man is gone, what's your cause? But if making Jesus great and making Jesus famous in your cause, that cause will go on forever and issues will be dealt with through love and inspired communities and people standing up for their families and making a change because they're empowered to do so right where they are. And that's just my take on the whole Coney 2012. All right, if you like it, repost it. If you don't, I'm okay with that. I still love you. I still love the cause of the children. This is in no way against invisible children. I hope they continue to campaign. I hope they continue to do what they're doing. But my challenge is a personal challenge to you. It's a personal challenge to you as a Christian. It's a personal challenge to you as a son or a daughter of God that making his name famous should be the most important thing. It shouldn't take a special campaign for us to come together in unity and make this kind of movement for the kingdom, which would heal more than one issue. God bless you.